Well, for more on the weekend's developments, we're joined now by independent political analyst Daniel Salk. Daniel, resignations, obvious signs a new party is in the works. Is this going to hurt the ANC? Yes, I think it's certainly going to hurt the ANC. There could be nothing worse for the ruling political party than six to nine months before an election, six months, suddenly a new political party comes on stream. It's the worst possible timing for the ruling party. And what do you make of the leaders' reactions, ANC leaders' reactions to this? I think they've been slow. I, I think uh, uh, Jacob Zuma, even uh, Khalema Modlanti, have been very slow to react. They haven't quite seen, uh, had advanced warning of this particular split, and I think that they've been remarkably lackluster in their approach. I think it's going to change, and I think it'll change over the next week or two as the rank and file of the ANC kick into gear, and suddenly you will see a rearguard action against this new movement. Now, a new party, do you think, or what kind of support do you think it's actually going to attract at next year's polls? I think conservatively we can expect currently the support to be anywhere between 10 and 20 percent. Now, I would argue certainly that we will see fluctuations, particularly more support for this party in urban areas. The party is likely to get urban, more yuppie voters. The rural poor perhaps will continue to support the existing ANC. So there will be key differentials in the different provinces, and this is going to make the provincial election results very interesting, not so much the national results. Well, it will be interesting to see. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. That was independent political analyst Daniel Salk. So while the ANC suffers a weekend of turmoil,